This video clip will show you how to use MPL function in Windows Server 2008 with QSMP300Q iSCSI IPSense storage. First, log in to QSMP300. Put in your password. Make sure you have created a virtual disk for this testing. The RAID group. the virtual disk make sure the LAN is attached next let's check the iSCSI port setting there are two ports enabled in controller 1 two ports enabled in controller 2 a total of four iSCSI portals next Use iSCSI initiator to connect to P300. In Discovery tab, put in controller 1 iSCSI port IP. In Targets tab, controller 1 is discovered. Go back to Discovery tab and put in controller 2 iSCSI port IP. Here you see that controller 2 is discovered. Next, Connect to both controllers and add the two iSCSI portals of each controller. Click Connect button. Add the first iSCSI portal of controller 1. Do it again. Check Enable Multi Pass and add the second iSCSI portal of controller 1. Repeat the same process for controller 2. After the iSCAS initiator is connected to both controllers, go to Device Manager. You will see four QSMP300 iSCAS disk devices which are actually the same virtual disk we created in the beginning of this video clip. In Disk Manager, let's initialize the first two disks and make the first one online. Before testing the performance, click Properties of either controller connection. Click Devices. The MPIO function is grayed out here, which means it's not enabled yet. OK, let's do the performance test without MPIO function. A saved configuration file is used for this demonstration. Select 256K read write settings and check the result. Read performance is roughly 110 megabytes per second. And write performance is about the same 110 megabytes per second. Next step, let's enable the MPIO function in Server 2008. Go to the Features in Server Manager. Select Add Features and browse to find Multipass I.O. Check this feature and click Install. Here we have already installed MPIO, so it's grayed out. You will see MPIO listed here in the feature summary if it is installed. Next, let's go to MPIO properties window. Click Discover Multi Paths. Check Add Support for iSCSI devices and click Add. This will take a while to enable MPIO function on P300Q. When it is completed, you will be prompted to reboot the server. Click No for the simplicity of this demonstration. In MPIO Devices tab, a new MPIO device is detected. Go to Device Manager. Now it shows only one multipass disk device, which was four devices earlier. Go to Disk Manager. It shows one disk now. Initialize the disk, and let's do the performance check again. Go to iSCSI Initiator to check MPIO status. 
Select either connection and click Properties. Click Devices and click MPIO button. You can see MPIO policy is enabled and there are four paths. Here comes the performance test. The read performance is around 400 megabytes per second instead of 110 megabytes without MPIO. The write performance is about 400 megabytes as well. That's it. We hope you enjoyed this video clip and see you next time.